What's good, it's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. Insane buy 1621 was the buy limit that we caught last week in free trades. Smashing the take profit, over 200 plus pips confirmed. I'm going to show you the whole analysis as well. As I said, every single trade that I take, we're going to be uploading to this channel. So subscribe, hit the notifications as well. And yeah, join up. Link is in the description. The free trading group on Telegram. It's all free. All free. I'm showing the analysis. I'm entering in the trades. Pass your prop firm challenges. 50% off codes dropping right now for the Forex fund. The link's down below in the description. New rules coming for them as well. And as I said, new engine. But yeah, great week last week. This morning, I've woken up. I'm down about 3-4%. Which is kind of it's kind it kind of sucks, right? But it's ten pip SLs, so you don't have to use ten pip SLs. Normally, I scale the SL just put it a little bit further away from the previous SL. So if it was meant to be ten pips, I go twenty pips. The reason I do this is because broker spreads can be manipulative and to close you out, and then the trade goes your way. You obviously lose out on all that R to R. So sometimes the drawdown might be minus one point five, but in the end of the day, you're making 10, 20 percent on the trade. That's why risk to reward is so important with trading. So even though I'm minus three, four percent, could be dropping another video today on being, you know, plus 15, 20% for the week already on a Monday morning. Make sure to stay tuned on that. As I said, subscribe, like the content. Anyway, without further ado, let's go on to the analysis, baby. All right, these buys, they made me over $180,000. You guys can be doing this with all of these prop firms. Make use of the opportunity, you just need a good trader like myself. Now, it, look, it was insane. It was insane. Previous highs of this consolidation zone, let me map it out for you to make it easier. See this zone here? I'll make the blue, make a blue rectangle box just so it makes it easier. So if we're ignoring this noise there, let's see what happens. So we've got previous sales, all in free trades, sell below to 1617. Previous high has been formed after 1622 and 1645. Why? Previous 1H, previous 4H. If you're looking, previous highs here, previous lows here, 1645. We sold there. What happens here? We come up, reject, pull back down from the previous sales up here. If you look on the 1H, it explains it a little bit better. Previous highs, previous lows from the channel. Sell back down. We drop below 17. 1617 if you look on the daily and we get rid of this rectangle box to make it easier to see we didn't break the lows of 1614 and then we bullish engulf up now look at the daily right now this was friday this happened now with the entry support being found at the previous lows here previous highs being made and then we wicked out there this indicated that we're going to make highs so the pullback couldn't break below, rejected the body, and then went bullish. That's exactly how it happened. That's all what happened. And the reason for the buyers anyway, and this will make it so much more sense. We wanted the buyers to retest 16.45 for further sales back down. If you look on the 1H at 16.78, all the way up here, There is going to be a major retest because previous highs, we never retested the body, 16.78. So now we're bullish until 16.78. If I play the replay mode or just get out of the replay mode, you can see over on Friday, from when we entered all the way to there, if you held, you would have made a 47% trade. <sighs> Personally, obviously, you wouldn't have held because the reason why we called it buys was because one free tap. Now, if you're looking at this trade right here, we've seen 1670 to 1644, previous highs of the channel. So collection here, we're gonna see a retest. If I show you the 4H, it makes more sense. We're gonna see a retest, previous highs there. Retest back up, bullish to 1678. Now join the free trading group, you guys can be in this. So from here on in, you can be in this trade and we actually call 1646 buys. And yeah, it's gonna buy from here on in. This was just a pullback. Look on the 15 minutes, pull back here, indicating buys. And if I just leave it on for about a minute, you guys will see the buys will come in and it's an easy trade. Now this trade here, 
as well compared to the previous trade where we made insane amount of profit as i said let me just restructure restructure this could have made 20 to 1 on the buys here and when you take a sales you're gonna you're gonna hit a sales okay that's the facts with with strategies like 10 pepper sales on gold you're gonna hit a sales it's just managing your risk accordingly and not getting stopped out as i said 15 minutes we'll see this now go buys and once we break out of that high being formed there then we know that gold is going to go bullish now it will continue bullish very very nice and that's basically if you are new around here like subscribe make sure you get in this trade i just wanted to see how it would react also i'm also, i'm sending this to my free trading group which is why i just had to go quiet there i had to see what the trade was saying um and yeah just i needed to get in as well on a re-entry scalp because I want to maximize my profits today. Obviously, who doesn't want to maximize their profits? You got to be careful. So 0.5% scalp my entry in right here. Got a 1% trade hold in here as well. So we're just scalping in. So my entry buys, this would be in another video, but it was 1646. You could do 1645 if you wanted to. My SL was 1645, but I moved it to 1644. And now we're in here. Scalp another entry, but it's a 0.5%. So I've got 1% on there, 0.5% on there. And yeah, you just scalp TP on the body of the wick right there. You're expecting a retest zone here. This is a retest zone, which is why you're getting into buyers. As I said, you see the 4H, it's, it's shouting, it's shouting buyers. And then when you move this up here, you know, you're taking... 10 to 1s, both 10 to 1s, risking 0.5% on the re-entry, you're still making 5% in total, and yeah, and it should just continue to go long, but the buys that we caught on Friday, very, very nice, could have held, I didn't though, and yeah, some people would be saying, if you look on a 4H, we could be coming down previous lows here, but I'm expecting some sort of retest before, if not, be annoying, but we'll see what happens, appreciate the support everyone's showing to me, as I said, we're going to make a lot of money this week, so join in. Thanks for the support. Take it easy and peace.